A good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States What, we are doing some major AC repair and some FIFL action repair. Today we are doing our usual cow service and rodent removal, cabin air filter replacement AC service, but we're also replacing an AC compressor clutch because it went all gugats on us. So, let's get into it. Oh yeah, once again, we've drawn out the belt diagram. We have the crank here, power steering, water pump, alternator, AC, that's the one we're removing. Our tensioner is right here. We've got idler, idler, idler. Very good. Okay guys, I gotta make a correction. This one down here is the tensioner. And the reason why we're replacing the clutch, well, look at all that goo gots leaking right out of it. Let's get a closer shot of it. Oh wait, it's letting out all its goo gots. Okay guys, so here we are in the wheel well. There's like a little vinyl panel that goes right here. So we took that out to gain access to the compressor here. We took both lines off. We uh, removed the connector right there. We removed the belt, as you can see. We have a mounting nut here, a mounting bolt there. We have one down there, and we have one down there. Now, the one that's in here behind those lines there might be a little bit of, a little bit of an issue to get to. So, uh, and I did remove the sway bar off here. I did remove two supports that were here, as you can see on the floor, because I might just be removing the compressor from right here instead of through here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's work on getting the mounting bolts and nuts off, and uh, yeah, we should be able to remove the compressor through the bottom. Let's see. All right, so we have our AC lines out of the way. All our mounting brackets are off. So our mounting brackets, mounting hardware is off. So let's give it a wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Come on. All right. I wish I could just stick my hand right here, but I can't. There's not a lot of room to work with. Not a lot of room to work with at all. Alright, take two. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Alright, it's out there. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, yeah. And we're out. <sighs> so now that we have the AC compressor on the top of the toolbox, we're gonna to see what exactly failed. Now you see the shaft right here, and you see this inner pulley? Well, this is our clutch right here. It's supposed to be all one piece, but now this rubber, as you can see all the gugats is out, that's no longer a part of the clutch. So the rubber portion is what failed here. So now we have everything replaced, all the replacement parts here, excuse me. Here's the new one. Shut the light off. It's all one piece. I bet when we take the old one out, I could remove the center part. Let's get this apart. All right, we got the bolt out. Let's see. Oh, yep, yep, watch. I'm going to take this whole thing out. Look at that. Rubber's all gugats. And yep, sure enough, this is our failure. Now we have a snap ring right here. We're gonna use some snap ring pliers to remove the rest of this assembly. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Oh, it didn't shoot across the shop, very good. Spray a little PB in there. Hopefully this will come out now. Let's see. 
I hope it's going to fight me. Hmm. Is there more than one snapper? No, there isn't. So, uh... Let's give it a little persuasion. Just a little bit. We're just tapping. We'll tap, tap, tap a row. Tap, tap, tap a roll. Come on, a little tap, tap. All right. Ah, oh, yes, we have another another snap ring up in there. Let's see if I can show you. The snap ring. This is the magnetic pickup portion of it. Whenever you actually turn your AC on, when you hit that button, it sends current through this and it engages the clutch and then it drives the AC compressor. Other than that, when this is not engaged, the AC compressor is freewheeling. So, uh, yeah, let's get that uh, other snap ring out now. Let's spray a little, little jism in there. Dab the tip. Giggity. Alright, where where were we? It's over here. So one hole, two holes. Oh, got it. Alright, very good. Now let's see. Will this come right out? Oh oh, yes it will. Very good. Alright, now we're gonna Meryl. I'm going to get the rest of this harness out of here. I think I'm just supposed to unplug. Oh, no, no, we have. Okay. Let's get this out. All right, guys, tips of the video. Always clean the surface, especially the shaft. You want everything to go on smoothly. Another tip, the electrical connector right here. Take a terminal cleaner. Get up in there. Make sure there's no corrosion and uh, put a little bit of dielectric grease up in there and uh, yeah we're ready for installation of the new parts very good okay as you can see there is a dowel right here and there is a dowel hole right there let's so make sure they line up that's where we need to be we're ready for our snap ring it's the larger of the two snap rings be careful not to fling it across the shop. Come on. You know what? I'm going to stand this up. All right, now it should be a lot easier to install the snap ring. Oh, yeah, boom. We are not in yet. Maybe I should turn it around. Let's see. Does that help? Oh, why am, I, why am I struggling on this snap ring? It's a freaking snap ring. There, snapped in. Giggity, giggity, go. You're in. Alright, time for a pulley. See what happens when you clean the shaft? It slips right on. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's get our other snap ring. Let's see if we can do this one this way. Or if I'm going to have to stand it up also. How much do I suck? Come on. That's not in yet. Oh. Oh, it just fell out. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright, write it in the comments. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stand this one up too. Alright. First try? Let's see. Oh! Alright, didn't go too far. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm not busy. Uh oh. 
Very good. Snap ring is in place. All right, guys, a very big tip of the video. I need you guys to pay attention to this. So, clutch is on, right? But it's making contact with the with the pulley, which is not supposed to. Look in that hole. There's nothing in that hole. Get the old one. Oh, there's a freaking shim in there. Let's get that shim out. Looks like there's two shims. Two shims in here. Or is it one? I don't know. But I definitely got one out. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick this one in there. Or actually, we'll put it on the top here very carefully. Like so. Then we'll put our which one? Like so. And now this should spin freely without any hindrance, which is good. Now I'm gonna double now I'm gonna double check to make sure there isn't another shim in there, and then that's just bare metal I'm seeing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna look up the torque spec. To this little guy right here very good all right guys so our torque spec on that bolt there is 13.5 wing newton meters also I have to install some blue loctite on there as well shim is in place all right we're gonna hand tight that and we're gonna get the special tool ready Got our special tool in place. It holds the clutch. Now let's tighten this guy up. It's not much. Once, double check. Very good. We're torqued to spec. Now we just gotta put some dielectric grease in that connector, make our connection, put our bracket back on, and we're ready for installation into the vehicle. Very good. All right, now that the AC clutch is all mounted to the compressor, let's step back on the struggle bus. And right, so we want to go in this way and then pivot it, and rotate it. We're going to get past these pins. Come on. Come on. Go in your home. Huh. All right. All right, wiggle, wiggle, come on. It was a lot easier going in than coming out. Write it in the comments. Well, all right, guys, everything is in except the sway bars and all the stuff I had to remove to gain access to the compressor. The belt is on, our connection is made, our lines are on and tight. I still have a little mounting bracket here to put on, a little 10 mil bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge the system and we're going to make sure it works before we put all this stuff back together because there's always the chance something may go wrong. You never know. So it's just a matter of uh, putting the system under vacuum, charging it, and testing the system. Now the system, now, the system is uh, R1234YF. And uh, we're going to grab that machine and put the AC system under vacuum and give it a proper charge. Now, we're also going to break clean the dye that came out of the line. Make sure this whole area is semi-clean. Very good. All right, let's see how we do. Contact.
compressor clutch kicked in. Let's see how low we can go. Pump the revs up a little bit. Old ass honky, look at that. It went down to 42 degrees. We went from 74 to 42, 42, 52, 62, 70. That's over a 30 degree difference, ladies and gentlemen. The Gugats has been fixed. Yeah. Let's clean what we can. Let's see how dirty these wipes are when I'm done. We'll see how dirty it actually is. Let's switch it. You gotta be able to switch hands every now and then. Just write it in the comments. Even though when they don't know, they gotta fight for freaking two holes living in their corner. Could be worse, but I'm definitely gonna change my gloves and wipe the camera down. All right, we got the towel out, ladies and gentlemen, and we can see, yes, there's plenty of pee pee and poo poo, but no nest. And some vehicles do have a cage right there, but those holes are way too big for poo poos not to fall into. And something interesting that I did find on the cow, the little guy started to chew right here too. Look at that. He almost made it through. They probably made his way in through here and then got under here and then just decided to crap and piss on this gate right here. As you can see, the brand new cabin air filter right through there. Let's look at the, the old one. Look at this old filter. That's piss and poo poo that just dropped right down the grate. Freaking wonderful. So now we're gonna do the usual usual. We're gonna get the wiper transmission out. We're going to block off that fresh air in it, and uh, we're going to clean all this Gugats out of here. So, 
Remember how this engine bay looked, everybody. Remember how it looked. Oh, well, well, it looks like they were taking some insulation out right here. Look at that, you little bastard. All right, let's continue. All right, everybody, we are all cleaned up. You remember how it looked before? Well, look at it now. Nice and clean in here. I can only do so much for what we are warranted by the city. We can't use too harsh chemicals while we're cleaning the engine. But here's the CSW final pass. We don't have a customer with a smell sensitivity and we want this car smelling nice. We're also doing uh, the AC Toyota vent service which is going to disinfect the whole, the whole system on the inside. But this outside here, I'm just going to give it up. Let that sit for a couple minutes, or I think 90 seconds or something like that. And then we're going to wipe that clean, put everything back together, perform the AC service, and return this vehicle back to the customer in better condition than it came in. in. If you guys don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content. Come on now, guys. You know I cleaned the windshield. <laughs> 